I recently learned about this little device. Uh, I had actually heard about it a while back and didn't really register how cool it was. And uh, I recently was exposed to it again and realized how cool it was. And I wanted to share it with you in case maybe you hadn't heard of it or were like me and didn't realize how really cool it was. It, so what it is is an automotive 12 volt light bulb in line on the uh, on the battery positive lead between two XT60 connectors and its purpose is to act as a current limiting device for when you're working with your copter uh, to protect your electronics from um, a shorting out and burning out so if I take a battery here and plug this in of course nothing happens and if I take an alligator clip and I just uh, short the battery, of course this is a very bad thing to do and will result in, at the very best case, a puffed lipo, right? But what happens? the light bulb lights up. So the, the light bulb is a load there and when we short this lead we draw about two and a half amps. Uh, how many amps you draw depends on the light bulb. This is actually a two element bulb and I've hooked up both elements so it'll allow about two amps. If you were to use a single element bulb it would draw mm, I think something like about an amp and a half. So. so if you short this it'll draw about two amps, two and a half amps which means that that is just the absolute most that can possibly be drawn through this circuit in like the best case. So if you've been working on your copter, you've been soldering up your PDB, and you're not sure if you might have a short, plugging in the one of these will protect it from ever drawing more than that. But it's even better than that. If we plug in the copter here, and we, uh, I'm going to arm it, right? Is this a dangerous thing to do? No. Because you saw what happened there. The light bulb lit up and the copter went into low voltage mode and shut down. The VBAT monitoring triggered. And the reason for that is that because this light bulb is preventing you from ever drawing more than uh, about two and a half amps, when the motors tried to draw more than that, the voltage dropped and the copter shut down. If you didn't have VBAT monitoring on, it would the motors might still continue to turn, but the voltage would be very low, and they wouldn't have any power, so they wouldn't be able to say, chop your finger off or damage anything. So this is a very good way of protecting yourself if you're working on the copter and you want to make sure that if you've accidentally shorted something, you minimize the risk of actually burning anything out. Obviously, if you're drawing maybe two and a half amps, you could still burn out like a 500 milliamp uh, voltage regulator. You could still fry that. So it's not absolute protection. But it's going to keep you from frying a motor or frying an ESC or, or, or burning out a trace on your PDB or popping a lipo. And also, if you ever are in a situation where you, let's say you're working with your receiver and you kind of lazy and you don't want to take your props off, well, a thing you could do, I mean, obviously, you should take your props off. But a thing you could do is set your copter carefully out of the way and plug in this bulb. And if you ever accidentally mess up your receiver configuration or something and an and arm or throttle up by accident, this is going to save you. So this is a very cool little thing. It's very simple to make. You can certainly look up how to make one. But it's just the negative lead goes straight through. The positive lead goes into one end of the battery and out the other, or the, uh, the light bulb and out the other just in serial. Put the light bulb in serial on the hot lead and uh, a very very good way of doing this. I actually had the thought to use an automotive blade fuse uh, receptacle. Build this exact same thing with an automotive fuse and have a, a fuse you could change out. And this is actually better because with a fuse the fuse burns out when you and then you have to put a new fuse in. But with this light bulb the light bulb is infinitely, well, probably not infinitely, but it's reusable for a very long time. And the light bulb also lights up. So if you plug it in and the light bulb lights up, you know you've got a short somewhere. So that's better than a fuse in like every way. Wonderful little thing, and you should make one if you haven't already.